These are a solar panels it converts sun energy to electricity. How it can convert sun energy into electricity? Can we use it at home? Let's find out. Hey there. Subscribe to my channel. And also press this bell icon. Solar energy is energy provided by the sun. It is energy in the form of solar radiation that makes solar electricity production possible. This is how it done. Solar panels are needed to convert solar irradiance into electricity. Solar panels are photovoltaic cells. When sunlight hits the cell, the photons of light excite the electrons in the cell, causing them to flow and generate electricity. The generated electricity will go through a charger, and store the electricity to a battery. The battery can produce DC voltage and it's ready to use. For AC voltage, the battery will go through an inverter device, to convert DC into an AC voltage. What is the calculation, to determine the consumption of electricity, based on your appliances at home? Ok, let's determine the power consumption demands. Let's say, fluorescent lamp at 18 watts, using 4 hours a day. Electric fan at 60 watts, using 2 hours a day and refrigerator at 75 watts, using 24 hours a day. To determine the power consumption demands, you will be able to estimate the amount of energy to be supplied by the solar PV system. Calculate the total watt hour per day for each appliance used. And then calculate also the total watt hour per day needed from the PV modules. After determining the total watt hours per day, Multiply it by 1.3, energy lost in the system. Now, let's go to the sizing of PV modules. Sizing the PV modules will help you find out the appropriate size of PV module, that will produce an amount of power suitable for your daily consumption. To find out the sizing of the module, you need the total peak watt produced needs. Calculate the watt peak rating and the number of PV panels for the system. The actual requirement is 4 PV module of 110 watt power. And what about the size of the battery? A deep cycle battery is recommended to be used in PV systems. It is specifically designed to be discharged to low energy level, and rapid recharged or cycle charged and discharged day after day for years. Make sure that the battery is large enough to store enough energy to operate the appliances even at night and cloudy days. Now, this is the computation for battery sizing. Calculate the total watt hours per day used by appliances. And divide the total watt hours per day used by 0.85 for battery loss. Then divide your answer from the previous step by 0.6 for depth of discharge. Divide again your answer from the previous step by the nominal battery voltage. Finally multiply your answer from the previous step with days of autonomy or the number of days that you need the system to operate, when there is no power produced by PV panels. In doing this, you'll get the required ampere hour capacity of the deep cycle battery. Ok, let's proceed now to the solar charge controller sizing. The solar charge controller is used to maintain the proper charging voltage on the batteries. It is typically rated against amperage and voltage capacities. In selecting the solar charge controller, it should match the voltage of PV array and batteries and then identify which type of solar charge controller is suitable for your system. You have to make sure that the solar charge controller has sufficient capacity to handle the current from the PV array. Please consider giving this video, a thumbs up. Every time you hit a like button, you help us growing our channel. Subscribe as well to notify you when there's new video uploaded. Thank you very much and have a good day.